Welcome to the live stream. How's everyone doing in the room? You good? Don't, don't be afraid to applaud and clap. It's kind of weird if there's no <laughs> you know, interaction. Um, please. And for those at home, um, thank you for tuning in to Goodwill Radio uh, Club. And um, I'm going to play a whole bunch of tunes for you. So that was Old School Heart, um, which I released on an EP last year. And this next song is a new song. It's called As I Am. See me as I Wait for me until I go away. Hold me as I Thank you. This next song is a song called Cautionary Tale. It's a bit of a kind of mishmash of a whole bunch of kind of social activist shit that I like, <laughs> that I am passionate about and want to write music about um, and, and kind of channel in my life. Um, it's about climate change. Um, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, this is Cautionary Tale. It's 
It's a cautionary tale for those who fall in one more not to let go. I won't always be around to let you know. It's a cautionary tale, and I thought that I had it made, but I'm not and wrong. You smile at me so mercifully, I don't know what you're saving me from. Saving me from, baby, oh no. It's a cautionary tale for all your young hearts learned not to forget your wrong. When the soil erodes beneath your feet, where you gonna call home? It's a cautionary tale. This song is a very new song. Um, well, kind of. I, I do a weird thing where I write a song and I'll kind of half finish it and then I'll <laughs> I won't finish it for like two years. <laughs> and and often it'll it'll kind of come. I'll have half the song and I'll say what how I'm feeling, what I'm going through at that time. And then sometimes it takes a couple years until I've gone through what needs what I need to to finally finish the song. You know, to say what it needs to be said. So. That's one of these songs. Uh, that, this is one of those songs. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this is called First Nights. Oh, no one's heard this, apart from one person. So. Oh. 
Thank you. This one's called Lost. It's uh, about, um, I was feeling a few years ago, feeling quite lonely and wanted to feel like I, I couldn't really connect with people on a genuine level and this was a kind of a yearning for that connection. And of course, we can all connect with each other. We just often choose not to because we're afraid we're gonna get hurt or we're afraid we're, we're gonna be vulnerable. But man, you just, you just gotta, you gotta love your brothers and sisters. You, know, you gotta love everyone. So um, this song is about that. Yeah, it's lost. Lost 
Oh yeah, we're just gonna take a five minute break just to get on some, fix some technical difficulties. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back soon.
Thank you. I'm going to play my first cover of the night, and it's not what you might expect. It's my good friend CJ, um, CJ's birthday today, and he's in a he's in a band. Good, happy birthday, bro! He's in a, he's in a band called Scud and Cerebi, and they. Um, make brilliant music, I think so. Um, CJ also works a lot with me, and we're releasing uh, a collaborative EP soon, so keep an eye out. Um, and this is one of their tunes called Don't You Feel Lucky. Happy birthday, CJ.
Let's play a bit of a funky one. Gotta find the right sound. So this song I wrote um, beginning of this year and we recorded a version with the band um, earlier in February and I was uh, wanting to kind of release it quite soon after and then COVID happened and this song is, is pretty dark, it's pretty grim, and, and it's, it's another song about kind of climate change and a, about complacency and all these kind of things that I thought needed to be talked about more. Um, but then when, you know, the lockdown happened, I was like, people don't need this shit right now. You know, people are glo gloomy enough. So um, I kind of put it off and put it off and then uh, have finally released it um, on an EP a few weeks ago. This song is called Watch the World Burn. See what I mean? We're gonna use this thing. Thank you. 
Thank you. That's a real buzzy one to play without the band. Oh man, cool. All right, this is um, another cover. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, because if you're cool, you'll know. <laughs> I definitely know there's one person who'll know it, so this is, um, yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. That was the war on drugs. <laughs> Love that band. All right, we've got a couple more for you. Is that all good? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. This one is an interesting one. It's uh, an, another new one that I haven't released yet. Um, it's about how you know when you go th through painful shit. It, you learn a lot, you grow a lot. It's called Get Me Some Grief. <laughs> Clap for pain.
my way. Something told me all the pain was over, so I fly and I swim in the plane consummates at the end. Gonna get me so green so I can make my rest. I don't need no come to the end of the set. Has it, Finn? We, yeah, we could do a couple more if you want. Okay, two more. Uh, you got it, you got it. All right. Um, let's pray. Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. It's really nice to do a live stream that also has an actual audience because it can feel very like isolating when you're doing a live stream by yourself and you like people are like doing like things that there's and there's silence after every song. And you're like, fuck, but Thank you so much for everyone who's here and everyone that's at home. Thank you for tuning in to Goodwill Radio Club. Um, give a bit on the Boosted page if you can. These guys are amazing. They do so much. A shout out to Finn who organized all of this. Yeah, give them a round of applause, man. And, and everyone else who's worked on this, you guys are awesome. So thank you so much for having me and I'm really, really proud to be a part of this. And I'm sure you're gonna get some amazing other artists on sometime soon. So I uh, can't wait to watch those. So this is um, my last song. This song has a little bit of a story to it. I uh, wrote the song in high school and kind of disregarded it as um, one of my teenager songs, which <laughs> to me are like, yeah, cringy, fuck. Um, but then I, we were, me and the band were recording a whole bunch of live material in the studio early this year, and my, <laughs> my mum was in the studio, and she was like, I want to hear that song. You know, she was real, like, really wanted me to record a version of it. And, and she thought I would just play it solo, but I thought, well, there's this section at the end that um, really, you know, could use a band, you know, and, and the whole song is about this feeling of loneliness and wanting to connect with people and feeling as though the people, people's masks that they put on, they, they don't allow that connectivity that we need to have as human beings. So I got the band in, I recorded it, <laughs> I taught them in like 10 minutes, recorded it, and then that was the, the take, was that one take. I was really proud of it. Um, and yeah, and this is, this is the song. This is Am I the Only One Who's Walking? It's out now as well. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I 
Thank you so much. My name is Arjuna Oaks. Thank you.